One. Two. Three. Four. We experience sequences of numbers throughout our lives. Today, we're gonna to have a look at an amazing tool of getting a number line into children's heads and getting them thinking in numbers. You may well have seen a counting stick before. You may have seen one that looks a bit like this. A red and yellow stick, fantastic for doing counting activities with children of all ages. Children in high school can have a go of counting stick activities as well as, you know, seven to 11 year olds and younger as well. You can also do counting sticks with very young children. You just have to do it in a slightly different way. If you're gonna do it, this is the way to do it. This is my version of a counting stick. It's basically just a broom handle. A broom handle with 11 pieces of Velcro on. The idea of having 11 is that you can then stick the numbers on from zero up to 10. It's much easier to stick the numbers on when you first start because you can do lots of different games with the numbers and the children can just get into the idea of what a number line is. I normally introduce a counting stick with counting songs, something like five cheeky monkeys jumping on a bed or it could be five little ducks swimming in the sea, anything really. All you need is a few pictures and you stick them on the counting stick. Then you get children to count how many you've got. One, two, three, four, five. Get them to show you five. Then you sing the song as you would normally. Sing the song, you'll jump on the floor. One of the cheeky monkeys has to go and see the doctor. So you had five, you've now got one less. How many have we got? One, two, three, four. Get them to show you four. Sing the song. Jump on the ground, one has to go and see the doctor. How many have you got? One less than four. One, two, three. And just continue like that. Another way of using the counting stick is put some numbers on. I've just kept it nice and simple. I've gone from one to five. I'd leave the zero for a bit later when they've got a bit of an idea what zero is. Start with one to five. Great introduction to number line. Here we go. There are lots of games you can now do with this number line. Here is one example. I have made a real magic wand. Um, these are great for children to make. They just get sticks and wrap bits of material around the sticks. Great fine motor and real magic. They love going around and firing magic at each other. The idea of this is when the magic wand hits a number, the children say the number. A bit like this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try again. I'm going to make it a little bit trickier. This time the wand's going to jump around a bit. Here we go. One, two, one, two, four, three, one. Just like that. Children are programmed a lot like robots. A lot of them are great at counting one, two, three, four, five, but if you mix it up a little bit, it's much harder. It really gets them thinking, and that is what you want. Next, a little bit trickier. We've got a zero on as well. This is definitely something to do after you've tried it with numbers one to five. Put the zero on, let them experience what a zero is. Here we go, I'm just going to do the same game again. Point with the magic wand, say the number. Zero, two, one, two, three, two, etc. Next game. In this game, I've got a boomerang. This is a boomerang game. You swap the boomerang for a number. I'm going to swap it for number four, for example. Number four goes off, the boomerang goes on. You might have to explain what a boomerang is. Some children will know, some probably won't. So you just have to tell them it's a stick. If you throw it really well, it always comes back. The idea of the boomerang game is you count up to the boomerang and then you count back away from it. So it's a counting forwards and counting backwards game. When you get to the boomerang, I always tell them to say, say nothing, basically. Here we go. Zero. One. Two. Three. Three. Two. One, zero. Simple as that. You put the boomerang anywhere you like on the stick and great for counting forwards and backwards. Counting backwards from three for a lot of children is actually harder than counting backwards from five. A lot of them, again, they're programmed like robots. They can count backwards five, four, three, two, one, like a blast off. But if counting back from three, they haven't been trained to the same extent. So it's actually a bit trickier. Next step is take the numbers off. This is quite a bit trickier. I'd only do this when the children have a, a bit of a number line already in their heads. They can do some of the games, they're starting to go forwards and backwards, they can mix it up a bit, they're ready for the next step. Take the numbers off, you can do all sorts of things. The first game, this is zero, this is five where my hand is, and this is ten. 
First game is similar to the game we've just tried. With the wand, I'm just going to go up and down the stick and try and say the number. Here we go. Zero. One. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Three. Five. Six. Etc. And just continue like that. To make it even trickier, this can be a number not zero. This could be three, for example. If this is three, this becomes 13. If this is five, this becomes 15. It's always 10 more, basically. And the idea is to just start at three and just try and count on from there. Like three, four, five, six, five, four, etc. And just mix it up. The next step after that is you can count in different quantities. You can count in tens, for example. This could be zero, and you're counting 10, 20, 30, a bit like that. You can go forwards and backwards. Lots of children are great at chanting in tens. They can go 10, 20, 30, 40, but they've got no idea if you mix up a bit what's going on. So you can go a bit like zero, 10, 20, 10, zero, something like that. Counting in twos is the next step. Counting in fives, there are all sorts of things you can do. Some books are fantastic to use alongside a counting stick. Some books are obviously about maths, and some it's less obvious. This is one of the more less obvious books, and the surprise. All about the girl that walks along with a, a basket of fruit on her head. One at a time, an animal comes along and robs a bit of fruit. For example, the monkey robs a banana. It's a great one less book. For example, she has five pieces of fruit, the monkey robs one, and now she's got four. Let's see how we can use a counting stick for this book. Okay, here we go. Um, I've got some pictures, some pictures of the fruit in the story. Here we go. Get the children to count how many you've got. One, two, three, four, five. Then read the story. Every time a piece of fruit gets robbed, for example, the giraffe comes and robs the pineapple, take it off. So you had five, got one less. How many have we got now? One, two, three, four. Got four. One less than five. And just keep going like that. Good luck using a counting stick. Feel free to check out the rest of our videos we have on this channel. Please feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. It's competition time. Early Impact are looking for schools and nurseries that will let us come and make videos of their amazing learning environment. If this could be you, all you need to do are the following things. Number one, like every video that we've done on this channel. Number two, leave a comment on every video. Number three, follow us on all social media. And number four, send us a private message on Facebook to discuss the details.